everybody. Sorry about the shakiness. I forgot my GoPro camera. I am in my Sony Cybershot. So I'm stuck recording on my phone. Yeah. Sorry about the quality. Sorry about the lighting. Sorry about this, the audio. Because I am currently in the hospital unexpectedly. So I got at the hospital at 9 o'clock this morning for a routine kidney biopsy. Um, registration went pretty smooth. Prep went pretty smooth. Um, I got back in there. They started to clean my back off. Um, they decided the right was best. Right kidney was best with biopsy. So they prepped that area. Um, they started doing the lidocaine. Um, and then they start out at the top and go deeper in, and they made a nick in my skin, and I can still feel that. Oh my gosh. I have something called ailer stainless, and my body is so weird at metabolizing things. It goes way too quick. So they technically have to use a lot more than the average person. Anyways, so they, after they do that, then it's CAT scan guided. Anyways, back to that. So they put the needle in, and I could feel it when they hit the kidney. Don't ask me how I know, but I jumped about two feet off that table. <laughs> so they then put some numbing, uh, I think it's bupivacaine or lidocaine or some, or some kind of lidocaine or bupivacaine. And they numbed the part of the kidney. And then they ended up giving me uh, twice the amount of normal verse that they give somebody. I think the grand total they said was 10 milligrams. And they gave me 12 milligrams of morphine to kind of calm me down so I wouldn't be in so much pain. So then it took about 45 minutes to get the samples. You have to wait on the CAT scan machine after they get the samples because cytology has to look at them to make sure they're good. And then if they're good, you're all set. They'll band-aid you up um, and take you to the recovery room, which is where you'll stay for about two hours, two hours. Um, but my problem was, why I'm, why I'm in the hospital tonight, is because I have a bleeding condition that goes along with my lupus. It's a comorbidity, which means it's related. I have antiphospholipid antibodies, more specifically lupus anticoagulant. And anticoagulant is a phenomenon because people with lupus anticoagulant, sorry about the jerking, their blood is their blood is thicker than normal. So you form clots easily. So I'm on Lovenox twice a day, Lovenox shots. Um, I have genetic coumadin resistance, um, according to several doctors. Anyways, so my, they went, <laughs> when they went in, they poked the diaphragm and they poked the kidney and because of the pain from the diaphragm and the kidney, I ended up getting more morphine. They wanted to just keep me because I am such high risk for infections with all of these immunocompromised medications I'm on and how I have a now weakened immune system instead of overactive from lupus. When you have lupus, your immune system starts attacking your own body. Hence the rash, the butterfly rash. Um, everybody gets it different. I have rashes right here. I'm allergic to pegaderm. That's my port spot, and this is my hick. Not hick, but Hickman line, Henry. So, um, sorry I'm all over the place. I'm really tired. Um, <laughs> and so when I got to the recovery, they decided that they were going to admit me due to the bleed in between the kidney lining and the kidney itself um, and the pain level I was in. And they just thought it would be in my best interest due to all of my chronic health conditions. Um, so I am admitted for a night. Not what I had planned, but 
Sorry, my lips are dry. You gotta go with the flow, and you can't really do anything about it. So, hey, that's life with chronic illness. You just gotta keep on pushing forward, one foot in front of the other. Say, all right, we're gonna do this. If there's complications to a procedure, a minor procedure, we'll have to do, we'll deal with them to the best we can. Because us lupus, us, excuse me, this is going up unedited, unedited too. Us lupus warriors have to stick together, support each other. We may, we may not agree on every type of treatment, and we also may not agree on a lot, on a lot of stuff. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting me in this journey. Um, I'm going. I have a GoPro camera and a Sony CyberShot that I forgot at home because I didn't think I'd be getting admitted. So, sorry, I keep looking down here. And so I didn't think I'd be getting admitted. And. Isn't that just a pretty view out there? I don't know if you can see it or not, but palm trees. See the whole city of uh, all the lights out there. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I'm just getting started, so you're going to have to bear with me. Thank you so much for the 10 subscribers I already have. That means so much. Um, and I look forward to making another vlog tomorrow, um, to tell you how I'm doing, and I'm going to be getting a repeat cat skin. Anyways, thank you guys so much for your support. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment for suggestions on how I can improve this video, or if you liked it. Um, I have other ideas for some more content. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you guys. Have a good night.